This one is underway. Nelson directing traffic. Here's Howard, and he gets the friendly roll. Bibby on the hop. We're going to switch up from a zone to man-to-man -man here, Mark. Try to disrupt the offense. And score. Johnson. Nelson setting things up. Accelerates. Yes. Howard with a block shot. For three. And Joe Johnson takes advantage. Johnson. He can make that one in his sleep, Marvin. That, that's his comfort zone. And I don't care what you do defensively. If he gets in that spot, he's going to make that nine times out of ten. Changing defenses is an important way of disrupting the flow of the in the flow of the in the flow of the One offense, Marv. They're going to go back to a man here. The jumper is off the mark. Marv, that's a good shot if you're going for the scoring championship, but not a good one if you're trying to win a game. Johnson looking for the open man. Here's Williams. Terrific job in the open floor, Marv, creating an easy basket, and they're really trying to push the tempo here in the first half. Here's Howard, the magic control, and he's rejected. Marv, excellent two-for-one opportunity here to end the quarter, a chance to whittle this deficit. That was a three-point attempt. Petrus ends up with it. Four-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Boy, that's a nice touch. Hand in his face, he still gets it to go. We're down to 20 seconds to go in the corner. Hawks up by one. He fires from downtown. Horford keeps it alive. The Hawks clear it out. Bibby looking to get it down low. Marvin Williams. Here's Nelson. And Jameer Nelson not able to hit from downtown. So at the end of the first quarter, the Hawks lead by three. What a bizarre first quarter. Every shot from every angle going in. And for both teams, Mark, they were on fire out there. But oh, this is such a long game. You can't expect this for the full 48 minutes. So I look for both defenses to tighten up here in the second quarter. That's a forced shot. And Mike Bibby Mike forcing Bibby. and hitting from downtown. That's a 12 to 4 run for the Hawks. Marv, they need a timeout. They've got to find a way to get some energy out of their home crowd. Right now, they're getting beaten to the ball, beaten to the punch every time down. Smith puts the speed on. And Josh Smith got the roll. Here's Smith. Oh, a showboat move. You can't give up easy hoops like that, Marv. Way too lazy on the inbounds pass leads to the easy deuce. That's an 11-2 run for the Hawks. Well, they've got to do anything necessary now, Marv, to stop the bleeding. This game's getting a little away from them. Time to stop this run and get this game back under control. Orlando trying to get back into it. Smith on the run. Here's Smith, and Josh Smith not able to score. Marv, they did a terrific job getting the ball in the paint. Just didn't make the basket. Lewis pulls it up, and the field goal. Marv, this team fell behind early by taking poor shots. That time, a very solid possession, and they get the good look. Here's the screen. Not able to hit the three. Williams kicks it back out for three and Mike Bibby off the bar. Well, keep an eye on second chance opportunities as the game goes along. Offensive rebounds could be the difference in the game.
object. He'll get it back. Lack of communication there, Marl. That's a mistake, but I think the defensive pressure may be getting to this club. It's picked off. Smith off the steal. Fires. Great defense here, Mar forcing a very difficult attempt. Nelson finds the opening. Nice pass. Smith trying to stay in front of him. Now here's the double. Orlando gets it across. Smith giving no room. Here's Turgaloo. And Hito Turgaloo able to hit. Delivery to Bibby. And on that note, the second quarter is finished. The Hawks lead by six. The Hawks with a solid first half, Stephen. They've done it at the defensive end. Very active, forcing turnovers, and that's been the major thing. Yeah, I thought they played the passing Maybe. lanes well, Marv. They were very energetic, got up and down the floor, and did a nice job of taking care of the basketball themselves at the offensive end. Accelerates. Here's Howard. Yes! That's great defense, Marv, but that's too good. Nice touch around the hoop. was a three-point attempt. Box out by Lewis. Delivery to Turgaloo. Howard with a quick release. Very difficult attempt there, Mark, but he gets the ball to go in. Howard is turned back. Here's Smith. Josh Smith. Marv, when a man penetrates from the perimeter, you've got to come over and help defensively. Here's Howard. Dwight Howard able to put it down, serving up a facial. Here's Bibby. And Mike Bibby comes up short. Nelson pushing it down. Here's Lewis. That's a nice touch there, Mark. I can't believe he made that shot with so much defensive pressure. Smith on the hop. They clear it out. Horford accelerating. And Al Horford at the line. First time tonight. Looks like they're going to switch into a zone, Marv. They've been playing man-to-man -man most of the way, but this is an opportunity to try to disrupt the offensive flow. Howard on a catch and shoot. Here's Lewis. Marv, great opportunity for a two-for-one here. If they can get a quick shot, they should be able to get another possession at the end of the quarter. Williams at the line for the first time. They're going to extend their defense full court here, Marv, trying to get some ball pressure. Turgaloo looking for the open man, and Rashad Lewis will put it home. Well, you've got to keep the offense out of the lane. That's just way too easy. Lewis at the line, first time tonight. The team has come on. And hits both. Five second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Bibby has to pop it back out. And Marvin Williams knocks down the three. Nelson to the front court. Good job by Bibby. Nelson putting the speed on. And they clear it out. And scores. Three 
quarters of this one have been played. The Hawks lead by two. Steve, as we head to the fourth quarter, the question is, can any team here make a stop? Well, it's been a great game, or high scoring, and neither team has been able to pull away from the other. So I'm looking for stops. I mean, can either team play defense? Can they start making better closeouts, better rotations, and maybe limit some of these transition hoops we've seen? Bibby comes across. Nice entry pass. Here's Williams. Boy, it's fourth quarter, Marv. You can't give up such easy hoops. Horford trying to stay in front of him. Jumper off the mark. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really the result of very poor execution on that possession. Joe Johnson. And he puts it down. Well, the inbounder has to have total concentration. One little lapse leads to an easy bucket. That could be the difference in the game. Here's Howard. And Dwight Howard able to hit. Bibby looks to set it up. They clear it out. Here's Bibby. And Mike Bibby. Nelson walking it up. Good job by Bibby. Fires. And Camille Nelson misfires. Well, he's awfully comfortable from that area, Marv. And that's the kind of execution they're going to need if they're going to come back and win this game. and lost it. Yes! Can't give up easy hoops like that, Marv. You've got to force some perimeter shots. Nelson bringing it across. For three! That's his first miss of the night. I like that shot there, Marv. There, there's plenty of time. There's no need to launch long three-pointers. Get a good shot. Go down. Make a stop. You're still right in this thing. Committed an intentional foul. They're just looking to stop the clock. He'll go to the line. Bibby at the line for the first time. And hits both. No choice here. They had to stop the clock, so they give the foul. Bibby to the line. Mike Bibby with 10 points. One second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Howard again. And the bucket. Bibby with a nice pass. And a backcourt violation is called. Oh, that's a foul to stop the clock, and he'll go to the line. Johnson at the line, first time tonight. And rebounded by Howard. And timeout taken late here in the fourth. On the hop, 
He fires from downtown. And Michael Petras, so proficient on that catch and shoot, got it off. And timeout with little time left in this one. Stop the clock, and they give the foul. Bibby at the line. It's been a terrific night at the free throw line. Nice box out by Howard. Final seconds, and he'll just fire one up. The Hawks will get it back. And Mike Woodson takes a timeout with time running down here on the fourth quarter. Atlanta now has one timeout left. No basket. This one is over. The Hawks have won it. The final score is 49 to 43. Dwight Howard led the way with 16 points. So for Steve Kerr and our entire crew, this is Bob Albert saying so long from the NBA Arena in Orlando. For tonight's outstanding performance, we're proud to present the Jordan Player of the Game.